IgG antibodies can cross the placenta. And so thus the antibodies produced by a mother's body can be passed on to the fetus, bind antigens there, and initiate immune responses. IgA antibodies can be passed through milk to the infant. Both of these are examples of passive immunity. In active immunity, one's own body responds to an antigen and generates memory cells so that subsequent responses will be more efficient. In passive immunity, antibodies are eliminating an antigen, but in a way that does not generate memory cells and will not make subsequent reactions with this antigen uh, more enhanced. Another example of passive immunity would be the receiving of a gamma globulin shot from a physician. Once again, antibodies would be provided, which could bind an antigen, but the patient's memory cells would never be generated to make subsequent exposures uh, a secondary immune response.